Hello? Zoom people. Can you hear me? Zoom people, can you hear me? Zoom people, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, sir. We are with you. Oh, okay. well. all right. I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, okay, you can hear me. That's fine. Okay, so welcome to this. Give me a sec. Let's see if I can pull this up. Hmm. Okay. So welcome to the session today and it's our official orientation session where we want to walk you through our 12 weeks mentorship and training program for the ICAG July 2024 examination. So officially we are going to be starting with our live lectures on Monday and uh, we're going to be running for 12 weeks for us to be able to prepare well for the examination and most importantly be able to pass the exam so the purpose of this discussion tonight is just to walk you through the culture the various things we're going to be doing how things are going to be done here and most importantly what you are expected to do in the next 12 weeks in order to position yourself to pass the examination because at the end of the day the ultimate goal is to get you to pass the exam so how do we get you to pass the examination we get you to pass the examination by explaining to you how things are done and what you have to do to position yourself generally so that is what we want to do then definitely i'm going to be taking some questions from you and anything that you would want me to share my thought on in respect of the class in respect of our portal in respect of our platform and everything i'll be taking some questions from you as well so as i mentioned earlier we're going to be starting our lectures on monday and that is going to be running for 12 weeks okay and so in that 12 weeks we're going to be having our regular time you have the timetable available for each of the lectures you're going to be running then about i think four or five weeks to the examination we are going to be starting with the weekend practice question sessions and that is going to be on saturdays and sundays uh i think 7 to 9 30 p.m and the purpose of that is to help us to solve questions deal with some of the challenges that you have so we will have our regular live lectures per the timetable number two four or five weeks to the exam we're going to be starting the weekend practice question sessions that will be on saturdays and sundays timetable of that is going to be available later on as we continue with a discussion so that you can plan with that but like i said it's going to be four or five weeks to the exam and it's going to be saturdays and sunday from 7 p.m to 9 30 p.m and the purpose of that is for us to solve some questions and deal with the issues that you have challenges with so that is the second thing that is in the program the third is going to be our two weeks intensive executive erasure masterclass. So two weeks to the exam, we're going to have our intensive executive erasure masterclass where we are going to be having some additional sessions coming in in the morning, I think from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Again, timetable of that will be available to you. But I'm informing you today so that you know how to plan yourself out. So two weeks to the exam, we're going to have our executive erasure masterclass and we're going to have some classes coming in in the mornings 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then we will write our mock examination then we'll discuss the mock and then we will get ourselves prepared for the examination so this is how our program is going to be our regular lectures coming in five weeks to the exam Saturday Sunday 7 7 p.m. to 9 30 p.m. then two weeks to the exams our executive version masterclass please note you are not paying any extra money for any of these classes again so once you have done your registration that is all about that so those all those other classes you are not paying anything for it and you're not going to pay anything also for our mock uh session all of that is um you know everything is covered so you're not going to make any payment 
again so that is our program that's how our lectures are going to be the second thing is going to be in respect of the structure and the modalities of the lectures yes our lectures are going to be live on zoom as you're on zoom like this it's going to be live on zoom then the lectures are going to be recorded and uh, available on the study portal on as well as in our mobile application and now you can download the videos right in your mobile ac application to be able to watch it without the internet again or data bundle that way you can watch it over and over again to help you to pass the examination so live lectures are going to be recorded and at most 30 minutes after the class the lecture video will be available on the portal 30 minutes uh it's something that we are really uh committed to do so immediately after the lectures 30 minutes the lecture should be available on the portal then you can download it to watch the playback or whatever it is then you go away number two is that to a uh, we don't teach here we don't teach what we do here is mentorship in a simple language that means that we do or you are thought then you are going to be given the opportunity to apply what you have learnt in class it means that you are going to be given assignments it means that you are going to do performance evaluation tests now let's talk about the assignment first the assignments are going to be given depending on whatever it is that you did then the assignment is going to be given and you're going to have probably four or five days to be able to do the assignments and then submit the assignment please note and i believe you have read this already on our terms and condition page on our website if you don't do the assignment when the question is being discussed you are not going to be allowed to join the discussion of that assignment let me repeat that if you don't do the assignment you are not going to be allowed to join the discussion of the assignment. listen carefully the ic examination is not like your mba program it is not like your msc program it is not like your first degree program where you can pay somebody to do your thesis for you to do your assignment for you or to do your project work for you the IC examination, it has to come from your head. You have to produce it and you have to be examined in three hours and it ends there. And the only way you can go into the exam hall and be able to reproduce in that three hours to be able to pass the exam is if you understand the materials in the syllabus. And so one of the ways to hold you accountable, to help you to understand the materials in the syllabus, is assignments are going to be given. So whatever excuse you have below your sleeve, I want you to take it out. Nobody cares about the job you do. Nobody cares about the fact that you have to travel two hours to work, two hours back home. No one asked you to leave that far from your workplace. Because nobody cares about that. So whatever excuse that you think you have that may prevent you from not doing assignment, it won't be entertained. So please don't bring it up. The reason is very simple. Do you want to become successful? Do you want to start traveling around the world? Do you want to drive your dream car when you're in a wheelchair? Or you want to drive your dream car, travel ar around the world and live your best life as you are strong now? I hope you are going to say, Shira, I want to do that as I am strong now. So success is measured in time. So your excuses, nobody cares. ICA is not going to sit down and say, oh, you know, our students, eh, they are busy people. They are mothers and fathers. They have 17 children and their work make them travel around the globe. So they don't have time to study. So let's set the question in a manner that they can answer very easily. Nobody cares about you. The ICA doesn't set questions because of your schedules. And so please, in the next 12 weeks, whatever excuse you have under your sleeve, get rid of it assignments are going to be given across all of the papers in all of the classes you have to make sure you do the assignments the reason also another reason is because 90 percent more than 90 percent of the students who involve themselves fully in our programs pass their exam 
so the people who do assignments performance evaluation test mock join our practice question sessions be involved in the program fully over 90 percent of them pass the exam so here that's how we do it so in the next 12 weeks i want you to drop your big girl swag i want you to drop your big boy swag i want you to behave as a student in the next 12 weeks nobody cares about who the heck you are what we care about is you are coming here you are going to study assignment will be given you are going to do the assignment then you are going to go into the exam hall write the exam with confidence pass the exam and get the heck out of this place that's all that is all so i'm begging you i'm saying this today because hell is going to break loose on you and for some of you you're going to lose by the fifth week because by the fifth week assignments have been given you are not doing the assignment and then you are not allowed to join the discussion of the assignment you become frustrated you will be in the waiting room and lectures are ongoing the assignment is being discussed but you didn't do the assignment and so you become frustrated and you become angry but again nobody cares about your anger so I want you to behave as a student in the next 12 weeks. What we are doing here is what you need to pass the exam. And if you can be humble and be as a student in the next 12 weeks and drop your ego, drop your big girl, big boy things and be a student, do whatever you are expected to do. I can guarantee you, you write the exam with smile and the results will come and you will pass and move on with your life. That's all we want. Okay? That's all we want. So that is the first thing I want to hit you with. And that is part of our terms and condition on our portal, on our website. If you decide not to do the assignment over a number of period, you can be sacked from the class your accounts will be deleted that is all it's part of our terms and condition on our website in case you've not read it make sure you go read it because the culture here is to hold you accountable the culture here is to make you put yourself in the work because where the ICA exam has reached Baba will not save you Inshallah will not save you you have to know the material before you pass the exam the next thing is going to be performance evaluation test. We're going to be also be, be doing performance evaluation test. And that is going to be a live practice question we're going to be doing. And your cameras would have to be on for those live lectures, uh, for those live performance evaluation tests. It's going to be like 30, 45 minutes. Again, just testing to see how you can work on your time, how you can work on your handwriting, how you can recollect information, how you can compose yourself under pressure. How All of those things are important to help you to go into the exam hall and pass the examination. So, again, if you have an excuse and say, oh, Ishra, my PC it's 1973 PC. It has no camera on it. So, I don't have camera to turn on. Again, nobody cares about you. So, get yourself in order so you can participate fully in the program. Okay? Be a student. Just follow the instructions. It's for your own good. Nobody is trying to do anything to show you anything is for your own good and that's how things are done here then finally is going to be our mock examination like i said that is going to be coming in two weeks to the exam hall uh, to the exam and mock examination is also going to be divided into two part a will be given to you to do as an assignment the part b will be done on the live call like that and you are going to prepare yourself as well for all of those things so these are the things that you need to understand when it comes to our life lectures, our assignments, our performance evaluation test, our extra classes, and the various things about it. Like I said, or as I said, all I want you to do is be a student. 
if you are a student you're gonna love this program you're gonna love this community and so one of the things to help us to help you well is why we are now moving our official communication from whatsapp to a different application because in the past on whatsapp some students may send questions issues but because messages are jump over we are not able to address students challenges very well and so now we are moving the class communication and various issues to the different applic to a different application so what it means then is that when you are studying and you have any problem you have any questions you have any challenge at all all you do is to just send a message on that particular application that you are on now and you will be assisted because there's no traffic there that is going to be strictly for the program strictly for the course to help us to help you very well so you can prepare for the examination so please don't hesitate uh, when you are studying you're looking at a question there's a challenge or maybe you're assessing the portal there is an issue all you do is just go jump on and then send a message don't put it on the main page to disturb others just send a, a message and then you, it will be looked at and you'll be assisted that is also an one reason why we are moving communication from whatsapp to the different application so that we can really have a tailor-made um opportunity to be able to be with you to handle the challenges that you have so that we can solve any challenges or deal with any challenges that you might have as you continue with your studies for the next 12 weeks so you can prepare well for the examination and pass the exam so that is also one thing that you need to understand and i think i'm told that there are a lot of you some of you are watching on youtube who have been told to download the application and send a message on the application to be added i think there are a lot of people who have not done that <laughs> i don't know why you've not done that though but what it means is that you are not going to get any notification for class because you've been told what to do but for some reason you are not doing it the last thing that i want you to note about is that live lectures meeting details are going to be sent via your email address for this reason tomorrow morning a google form will be sent to you on the page that the, uh, on the page that you are on and you are supposed to fill that out and provide us with most importantly a valid email address because all meeting details are going to be posted or sent to you via your email and meeting details are going to be sent maybe 30 minutes or one hour ahead of the class so that you can get yourself prepared so every time you're going to get your meeting details on or uh, in the email that you are going to be provided so you are going to be providing when you fill the form so tomorrow morning the link will be sent to you on the page and you're supposed to fill that out and then you provide us with those details that we will need to help us to um start scheduling meeting details and sending you the details from monday so that you can join the live zoom sessions and be able to prepare for the examination so that is the overall thing about our program our culture and how we do things here the only thing that people have challenged with is what i emphasized on earlier about the assignment and the performance evaluation test issue that that is something that people have challenges with because you know they are like yo i mean it's it's me allow me i've paid for class no we have a way of doing things here this is our culture this is how we do things here so and the reason we do that is because we don't teach you it's a mentorship program and in a mentorship program the tutor does it the students also does something that is where the assignments are going to be on the performance evaluation tests are going to be on now for security reasons i believe that almost everybody on the zoom you know about zoom application and all that so if you want to turn on your camera during the live uh, performance evaluation test sessions you know how to blur your background so that your background will not be showing and all of those things if there is anything that is the only thing you're going to be excited about once you check your camera or your video 
icon on the zoom you can see uh blare my background and then your background is going to be bled you can see that i just did that on uh zoom and my background has been bled and so you cannot see anything behind me but only me and you need to have a strong light on you to be able to have that so that is the only thing because nobody is interested in what is going on in your background so for privacy security purposes during those live practice question sessions you want to make sure that you blur your background but if you are behind a wall like that or if the wall is behind you you have a wall behind you then there is no need to blur your background or maybe if your background is okay like mine you want to yeah it's a normal background you want to have it then that is it so that is for privacy and security purposes you want to make sure that you protect your background on these live calls the next thing is going to be for me to walk you through quickly uh, on the portal i believe that you have already been sent a video about how to navigate on the portal but let me see if we can quickly run through that as together let me bring in my slide again okay so when you go on the website you sign in with your email address and password and you come to your courses then you're going to see all the courses that you enrolled in here there's a demo account so that's why you're seeing a lot of courses here but on the website now you can visit the website on your mobile application uh, on the mobile phone your ipad or whatever the heck pc you can see view or read so you're going to click on the view or read then for most of the courses what is going to happen so you come to courses content then so then i cannot view inner content why okay i think i don't have as okay let me see if i have this can i view inner content nope what the heck <laughs> please give me a sec okay it's like these demo this demo account has been uh let's see just give me a sec let's see what did he do oh yeah. blah, 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 blah. Uh oh okay give me a sec give me a sec give me a sec let me just see which accounts i have access to uh oh okay so fm case study okay so when you go on the portal like this you could see courses content most of the courses the very first video session one you're gonna have some oh i need to re-sign in give me a sec let me do that for security okay so if i go to say advanced taxation for most of the content you're going to have documents under the very first video so this is advanced taxation and this is basic tax principles document okay if i go to another program let's say strategic case study the very first video you could see there are some documents there so now you have to be careful because each of the doc each of the sometimes there are more than one items here to download okay now this is not accessible in the mobile application but it's accessible on the website so you can see this is a different document you can see this is a different document here okay then you can see um key models and business plan this is another document here so for most of the courses there are ebooks available under the first video that you can download 
but in addition to that the main thing is for you to go down to you can see july 2023 zoom sessions that's a full lecture november 2023 that's a full lecture march 2024 that's a full lecture so what it means is that you can study ahead of the class and that's the reason why we left these videos so you can come to march 2024 you can see full lecture there full complete lecture so you can study ahead of the class are you getting it and and that's why we leave this or, or we have left these uh, videos available for you on the portal it's full content here so all you do is whatever it is you go there and you study you go there you study so you can study things ahead of the live lectures that way when you come to the live lectures boom you're going to be better understanding the topic and it will help you much in that particular case so that's the first thing i mean on the portal and then getting access to the videos here then as you continue i don't I, I wouldn't advise you to do that now but as you continue you can see there is text after the view or read you can see text here because we have a live test on the portal give me a sec let's see why is this not accessible let's see if i have i think some of my documents are not okay so this is advanced audit and assurance we have a test available here and so i wouldn't advise you to start with it now for the most part i would want you to come to it maybe in the week six from week six week seven by then we had covered a lot then you can come to the test and be able to do something much here so if i go to things like financial management you see there are 48 questions here are you getting it and it's an objective question now although your exam is not an objective question the exam the, these questions are structured in such a manner to make you think on your feet so this is 40 this is we have 48 questions here the agency problem is a driving force behind the growing importance attached to sound corporate governance in this context the agent are there da 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 then you pick so i would want you to come to the test part probably as i mentioned in the fifth or sixth week by then you have covered a little bit if there is anything crap probably in the eighth seven or eight weeks because otherwise you'll be overwhelmed you see one thing about uh, learning is that if you try to start solving questions that you have not done yet it makes you feel you are not advancing and because these questions are shuffled they cover the whole syllabus so you want to come to this probably in the seventh or eighth weeks in the eighth week by then you you have covered a lot in the syllabus and so it will help you to then go through the test and it's a live thing you can see the timer there okay total time for this is one hour 27 minutes and so and each question has a timer on it so this question for instance has like a one minute timer and you can see it's counting down once the time is up and you're not able to answer the question, it will just automatically take you to the next question. You can see the timer here. This question has four minutes. Why? Because it's a question that requires some level of thinking. Okay, four minutes. So you go to the next one. It's a one minute thing. The timer is going to be running down. So you want to come to this. This is two minutes. It requires some calculation. What is the market price of the company share? That is under business valuation and issues. So you want to come to this in the seventh or eighth week. All right. To help you to really make sure you understand this very well. And again, like I said, this is, this is to help you to think on your feet to put pressure on you to think on your feet as fast as possible because the time the timer is going once you if you're not able to work within the time you lose it so it brings agency it helps you to recollect what you have studied as fast as possible and to help you to really understand what you are doing so if you look at all these you see the kind of 
benefits and what is included in our package so you have your live lectures you have your extra classes on saturdays and sundays coming in from five weeks to the exam or four weeks to the exam you have the executive leadership master class two weeks to the exam you have the life question practice on the portal you are going to be doing assignments you are going to be doing performance evaluation test so if you really embed yourself in this ecosystem you will be great you will understand the course material and if you go to the exam or whatever question the examiner asks you you should be able to pass it hands down hands down so this is our ecosystem these are the things you get now then you come to the mobile application i've mentioned that already in our mobile application now you can download the lecture videos and watch it over and over again to help you to understand what is going on generally at the end of the day now i want you to pay attention you see that the timer went off the question moved automatically to the next question that is it so why do we have all these available on our platform why do we have all these okay thank you i think because of the scene that i changed to so this is our ecosystem so if you do whatever it's here and you really embed yourself in the entire ecosystem do the assignments do the performance evaluation test join live lectures if you miss lectures download the video watch the playback don't postpone it don't think oh eh, eh, i'm busy i have 17 children oh my boss is this eh, i have to travel two hours from house to work two hours from work back home by the time i get home in Shira, i'm tired though. how can i do the assignment nobody cares you don't that is not what you want to hear from me I know you want me to be empathetic and say, "Oh, no kofio, bibio, bibio, femole boko boko, oh kakra kakra, akoko benumso, Debi, Debi, I'm not your nanny to come and sing good night song for you. I hit you with the reality, and you have two options: sacrifice and do what you have to do so you pass this exam. I want to see you pass the July exam, hands down." You can become a chartered accountant in one year. In one year. You don't have to take 10 years to do this. You don't need to do this in five years. There are some of you at your workplace, your boss, sometimes you sit down and you're like, ah, we are sepa. Look at this guy, he's my boss. Look at this small little girl. She's my boss. Why? Because probably she's a chartered accountant or he's a chartered accountant. And he's older or she's older than you. And he, he, he or she is seated and you are doing the work then you bring it before him then you say hey this thing you didn't do it well go and do it again then you are furious then your ego comes then your 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 thing comes why because you don't want to sacrifice you don't want to give up something if you want to pass this exam in the next 12 weeks you have to make some sacrifices i always say this on the altar of success there must be a sacrifice maybe it will be some hours of sleep maybe it will be some time with friends maybe it will be doing something you have to sacrifice maybe instead of washing saturdays and sunday maybe you have to take your things to the laundry so that you can use that time 
to study or get somebody to help you with the laundry so instead of using six hours to be washing at the end of the day your spinal cord is hurting and you can't think any longer after that someone helps you so instead of six hours you now use one hour so you can save the rest of the time to study and relax before you start the next week you have to make some sacrifices i can't tell you what you have to do but you have to give up something because if you look at everything that we are putting on for you and the work we are going to put in in the next 12 weeks from myself and my team here you have no excuse you have no excuse because if i don't give excuses you don't have any rights to give excuses so please in the next 12 weeks i just want one thing from you be a student forget about your age forget about the car you drive forget about your degrees and your phd nobody gives a damn about that be a student You've not done this before. Steady. Follow the instructions. I can guarantee you there is more than 90% chance that if you engulf yourself in this culture and do what you are told to do, you will pass this exam and you will smile at the end. That's all I want. That's all we want from you. So that's our culture this is how we do things and this is how you can navigate and assess the portal and everything in that particular case as i mentioned if you are studying there are anything you have any issues you have just send a message about it and boom you will be assisted and boom you will be assisted make sure that you go through don't go a week without studying on your own and so you need to prepare a study plan we are going to share a video about preparation of study plan with you after this class and you can watch it maybe tonight or tomorrow morning where I went through how you can prepare a study plan study plan is different from a timetable so you must have a personal study plan and that study plan should guide you if you are preparing and you have any problems about it again you can send a message and you'll be assisted and guided if you need some special guidelines in respect of how to study or certain something specific that you would want to get my thoughts on you can send a message about that a call will be arranged for you and i'll have you on a call and help you out so that you can go through this thing again you can do this in one year you don't need two years to be chartered accountant yeah I know somebody will sit somewhere and say oh by the grace of God I started doing the ICA 12 years ago hey the journey has been difficult hey hey hey, hey. by the grace of God now I am chartered I don't get excited about that nonsense for real I am excited about someone who did it in two years because if someone did it in two years or one year and you took 10 years to do it that person has more post graduate uh, experience than you and that person will always be ahead of you in the corporate world 99.9% .9 of the time don't don't be spiritual we are talking about the corporate world forget about your spiritual thing in a moment that person will be ahead of you so the person will have eight years post-graduation experience and it took 10 years to do the same thing why all you can do is just be a student that's all that's all so in the next 12 weeks that is what you are expected to do and these are the things that we are going to be doing hell is going to break loose on some of you because some of you are doing like two or three subjects Imagine you are doing three subjects and you have assignments in all of the three subjects. Hell is going to break loose on you. But you got to do it. Are you getting it? Don't give the excuses. Don't do it. Don't start it. And please, 
don't wait two weeks to the exam before you want to start studying please don't do it it won't help that movie i've watched it over and over again it will not help so every week do something on your own every week do something on your own and you will pass the examination that's it that's it so that is generally what our program is about and what you are expected to do so the culture here is very different if you are coming from anywhere else to this place for your for the first time the culture here is very different and uh you're going to be held accountable but if you look at what we provide here you realize that if you put yourself in this community well you should be able to pass the examination live lectures weekend sessions executive revision master class assignments that will be marked checked live practice questions on the portal perform performance evaluation test access to your lecturers to assist you in questions that you are solving or problems that you are having what else do you want like tell me what else do you want what else tell me what else you want i will do it for you <laughs> so that is it about that any questions for me especially those of you with me on zoom any questions for me you can raise your hand i'll bring you up i believe that nobody on zoom is not familiar with zoom i believe you're all familiar with zoom um if you have any questions for me you can put it in the chat if you can talk uh, or you can raise your hand i bring you up you can check the reaction button that for those of you who are on zoom and you're not familiar with the zoom whatever the heck i don't know why in your zoom app you will see a reaction button when you click the reaction button you will see something like this raise your hand you will see thumbs up you see thumbs down so if you want to raise your hand during live lectures and all that you click on that to be able to raise your hand so that you will be able to ask your questions but if your background is noisy and you don't want to disturb or you don't want to talk you want to just put it in the chat the final thing i want to say with you daniel stay with me i'll bring you up in a moment the final thing i want to say is this please if you are going to join live lectures be in the class because some of you you will join the live lectures then you are cooking banku in the background then you are watching in the background. Then you are having ch a chat with somebody in the background. What the heck is that? Like, why would you do that? So, block the time. Oh, Ishira, my children will not allow me. My wife will not allow me. My wife, eh, she will want to come and be around me. Tell them that from this time to this time, daddy or mommy has to study and sit them down communicate with them it's all about communication some of you you have children it will surprise you that if you sit your children down and talk to them like yourself you will be surprised how supportive your children will be to this journey so whatever it is you shouldn't have noise in your background so if it is if it is time for class you got to tell them, hey, from this time to this time, mommy is going to be in class. You know, mommy has to do this because when mommy becomes a chartered accountant, mommy can get you this, mommy can get you that, and we can do this. Because I've had this over and over again, especially in my private class. I've had lectures where the mother is on the call, we are having class, then the child is seated by the mother with her iPad or his iPad with a headphone on. Because the child wants to just be by the mother as the mother is studying. But the mother had communicated to the child, hey, listen, mommy had to be here. And at points, some people have shared with me that sometimes the mother, the child will come and ask, mommy, are you not learning today? Like that kind of thing. So please have a supportive environment and be conscious don't join life lectures and be cooking banku in the background some of you by this time you are eating fufu and in cutting conto by this time or eating banku and tilapia or you are watching something on the tv 
and your brain is not here some of you right now what i'm saying you are doing it if you do that you will never understand anything so assignment will be given and you can't do the assignment why because you were not fully involved during the live lectures so ming pabofai misrel yang kudi medekuku now i beg you um i've forgotten the french for i beg you whatever the heck but you know that's what i'm trying to say if you are in the class be in the class if you can't join the class don't join the class watch the playback at your free time because it is important to be 100 percent present okay it's important to be 100 percent present that is something that that i want to really really drill down for everybody please please be hundred percent here you'll be writing notes you'll be asking questions be involved in the class and you will see that that's how you become successful that's how you pass the examination okay so please all right don't try to there is nothing like multitasking there's nothing like multitasking it's a myth there is nothing like that you can't multitask and be successful you have to be focused and do that which you are doing generally in that particular case so that's the idea about that um someone was up i don't know let's see if i can bring <sighs> yeah daniel yeah daniel you can come up what the heck let's see daniel you can unmute okay sir so, um thank you for your time i want to find out whether the weekend session is going to be same time or that one will be uh, on daytime which weekend sessions it's like you, you you said something like the weekend session or uh, lectures or something yeah, yeah, yeah. that 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 will be from seven to 9 30 usually saturdays and sundays and that will come maybe four or five weeks to the exam practice question sessions so timetable up for that will also be available later on but it will be in the evening 7 p.m to 9 30 p.m on saturdays and sundays oh, okay okay thank you all right um what else for me let's see i think i got some messages coming in on youtube Ready is a crystal. Uh, Zoom people, any questions for me? You raise your hand, I bring you up, or you put it in the chat for me. Whatever the heck. I'm seeing some comments on YouTube. I'm gonna see if I can take those ones. Sorry about that sound. Needed to see if I can block somebody. Um, okay I'm seeing some chats coming up let's see if I can get them and then we can go Francis said good evening sir yeah good evening who is this Jebri Medin said yes okay. I don't know what that is uh, Tezom said watching you from what is that view cameroon okay rachel said watching you from zambia okay life transforming word ah, that's your name good evening sir i'm richard okay watching you from accra ghana okay what else we got watching you from lag what's that is that lagos I guess Ike Labi said say in she yeah Ike how are you doing I hope you are doing well let's see if I have any other comments coming in and any other questions 
okay. I'm seeing a chat also here on Zoom. Please, how can I access to the live and previous questions on the mobile app? I don't understand. Question any document downloadable is downloadable on the website. Any question is downloadable on the website. And in respect of the application, you can download the videos in the application. But any documents or questions are downloadable on the website. There are no links in the application for you to download questions or documents. You can only download the videos in the application but for questions and any documents you have to download it on the website so let me know if that answers your question that is from amma i don't know if i got your name right let me know if that makes sense for you there Okay, that's fine. Let's see, what else do I have? Benjamin Yeboa said, uh, Good evening, watching from Akosombo. Okay, oh, Akosombo Kaniya for. Thanks for joining us on the stream. Let's see, what else do I have? Okay, so I think. That, that is all generally in that regard. And uh, like I said, be a student in the next 12 weeks. Make sure you embed yourself in the environment and you're going to love it. I promise you, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. But if you don't do assignment, you don't do performance evaluation test, you're going to hate me. Because imagine you're in the waiting room, then the class is going on. Ube fusa. You'll be angry, uh, but you can't do anything. You can't do anything. So to avoid that experience, please, okay, do the assignment. This is not your MBA, your MSc, or your PhD. That you can give it to somebody to do for you and pay them. This one, you have to be the one in the driving seat. So please, do something for yourself, all right? So... As I mentioned, tomorrow morning, you're going to have the Google form to fill in the app to be able to, um, on the page, to be able to provide us with the email and other details to help us in our administrative work. Uh, but then after the stream, you're going to be sent some videos that you can watch on how you can prepare a steady plan. And then as you are preparing it, if there are any issues you have, you can send a message in the app and then you will be assisted on what you have to do if it means you need to have a call a call will be arranged and then you'll be able to be assisted then if there is anything specific that you have that you want me to share my thought on maybe you have challenges in studying or you have problem in recollecting or you want to find out how you can really organize yourself very well in the next 12 weeks all of those you can send a message about it and a call will be arranged and uh I will be able to provide you with some guidelines in that case. But on the overall, you have to make some sacrifices. That's all. If you are willing to make some sacrifices in the next 12 weeks, you can pass the exam. All right. And you know what you have to sacrifice. Maybe some small sleep. Okay. Maybe instead of sleeping the nine hours, you guys, some of you sleep. Maybe you do seven. Then the two, you can use it to study. Right, Saturday and Sunday that you used to wash. Uh, <laughs> I saw something somewhere. Somebody said, "If you get money, you realize that Saturdays and Sundays are not for washing; they are for relaxing." <laughs> so, for those of you who use Saturdays and Sundays to wash, I mean, maybe you have to change that swag in the next twelve weeks. I don't know how you're gonna do. Maybe you have to take the things to the laundry for it to be done for you then you can save some time to work somebody was gonna say oh insurance laundry is expensive yeah, 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 yeah. 
if you become a chartered accountant you get that promotion you've been waiting for and you get that new job that you have been praying for how much will laundry be for you oh shira you know this time i don't have money when i get money eh, i'll start taking my things to the laundry you will never get money because you have to start experiencing it so all i'm saying is make some sacrifices in the next 12 weeks and you will pass the exam okay that's it about that all right so um i think i'm gonna wrap up here today and uh, god willing monday we are going to start with public sector tuesday taxation wednesday i don't know management accounting i think so thursday auditing and financial management friday financial reporting now corporate reporting students i hope you are aware you'll be joining the financial reporting class it's on your timetable that's why if you are doing corporate reporting you were sent two timetables you were sent the level three timetable and the level two timetable so if you are doing corporate reporting you are going to be joining the financial reporting class which is on fridays 6 p.m to 9 p.m because a lot of the things everything in financial reporting you're supposed to know about it then we can add the corporate reporting bit in the corporate reporting exclusive class as we go on with the discussion so please corporate reporting students pay attention and take note of that so technically corporate reporting students you have two classes in a week on friday 6 p.m to 9 p.m then on saturday 8 30 to 11 30 a.m so please take note of that so that you don't miss any session as we start the lectures on monday so that's it about that enjoy the rest of your weekend and we see you on monday as we start the journey with public sector bye bye